Hi everybody, day 41 of my year in food and it's quite a gloomy rainy day here. So I'm gonna be making a big old pot of some vegan chili. Ooh la la, I know that's exactly what you wanted me to be making today. But it is vegan chili day, or night really. Um, and what I love about chili is it's like a pasta sauce. You can kind of chuck in whatever veggies or meat or whatever you have and kind of simmer it along for a few hours and it just is delish. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I have these gluten-free kind of faux meat crumbles. <laughs> I've never actually used these before, but they're very high in protein, they're clean eating, so we're gonna give it a go and make it as delicious of a gluten-free and vegan curry as we can. So that's what we're gonna be making with lots of veggies in there. And to go along with it, usually, oh, I would want a big bowl of white rice, but that is not happening. Um, I might make some sprouted brown rice for the Hubbers, but I think we're just going to do some roasted root vegetable chips in the oven. And clearly, they're not naughty chips. They're just going to be some roasted sweet potatoes and parsnips. We have loads of parsnips from the farm this weekend. So... I'm gonna kind of use all that up as a carby treat to go along with the chili and some salad, and that's it. We're about to have our another big, humongo, crazy workout, um, so we're gonna be quite hungry after that, and this will all be ready pretty quickly, so it'll be ready for when we get home. So vegan chili, day 41 of my year in food. Let's go have a look at the old ingredient board today. So here's the ingredient board for day 41 of my year in food, and it looks pretty sparse again, but there's gonna be a huge meal that comes from this, and we're gonna also just serve a big salad as well, so people get lots and lots of greens. Um, okay, so the chili, I just have some veggies to use up, so I'm gonna do onion, a bell pepper, mushrooms, that courgette, zucchini, all just kind of chopped up with just a little bit of um, olive oil and garlic in a big pan. And we'll just kind of sweat that down a bit. And then I will add in my kidney beans, which are just low sodium kidney beans will drain off. And then usually if I was doing ground meat, I would do that first and then add all the veggie. But I'm using this new, I mean, it's new to me. I've never tried this before. Um, beefless, <laughs> beefless ground beef if there is such a thing and it's gluten free it's it's pretty healthy i mean there's loads of protein there's not a lot of fat no cholesterol no hardly any calories i have no idea what this is going to taste like but i figure it's going to be in enough sauce that um it'll be good we won't be able to tell that it's not meat and it's really yummy vegan is for me, I think eating like that a few days a week really helps me with my energy and just feeling better. So I'm excited for this. Then I've got a big jar of tomato puree, a jar of diced tomatoes. We're going to use both those. And then usually I just make my own spice blends with cumin and like dried garlic and onion, all that good stuff and, and chili powder. But I'm going to give this a whirl. It's a day of trying things, I guess. This is some new GF, some gluten-free chili seasoning, and it's got no MSG, no artificial flavors, so I figured, why not? We'll give it a go. It looks okay. So that's gonna be our vegan chili, and then we'll just do some, some nice sliced green onions on the top when we serve. And then this will be, in this lovely pan, our roasted root veggie chips. So I've got loads of parsnips from the farm. I'm so excited about these. They look great and I love parsnips. They're like a nice aniseed, licorice-y kind of flavor to this. They're delish, I love them. Um, and then the sweet potato as well. And I'm really just gonna give these a good wash and because I wanna leave the skin on. The skin's where all the good fiber and all the good stuff is. So I'm gonna leave the skin on, just give them a really good clean and then I want to chop them all into equal sizes. So I'll show you that before it goes in. That's going to be our first step. So I'm going to get the oven on to about 375 right now. Get that done. And then we'll come back and we'll make our chili while those are baking away. And this won't take hardly any time. 
especially since the meat's not real meat. I don't need to worry about cooking it through. So day 41, chili, gluten-free slash vegan chili, and our beautiful root veggie crisp, all happening today. Ooh, how lovely do they look? So that's my parsnips and my one large sweet potato, all cut up into like little chips, if you will, or fries, if you will. And I've just given them a little bit of olive oil. You could do coconut oil, you could do vegetable oil, whatever you want, really. Just a little bit, teeny bit of salt and pepper. Gave it a good shake around like that. 375 oven, and this will probably go for, I don't know, 40 minutes, 45? And in that time, we'll get the, the chili pretty much done. And hopefully this meal will come together under an hour. So day 41 is happening. So I've got all my veg chopped up and it's in a little bit of olive oil, medium heat, big pan, and I'm just gonna sweat this down. And once this gets to where I'd like it, I'm gonna add in that um, vegan, the vegan ground beef and the chili seasoning, a little pepper, and I know I'm gonna want more cayenne just because I like it as spice. So I'm gonna use a little cayenne pepper and just remember to keep checking on your little parsnip and sweet potato chip babies and you know pull them out and flip them about 20 minutes in make sure they're getting nice evenly um, coated and browned so don't forget about them so I'll show you this once we add all the other ingredients okay okay it doesn't look like much but I added in the vegan meat crumbles and the drained canned of candy beans uh, the seasoning, I'm going to add the tomatoes, turn the heat down, put the lid on, and let it bubble away for a bit. And then I'll take my little parsnip and sweet potato chip babies out, give them a flip, and I will show you this in about 20 minutes. So our beautiful sweet potato and parsnip chips are done, about 45 minutes. They smell amazing. The chili's done. It's just been bubbling away. Yum, yum, yum. The great thing about doing a vegan chili is that you don't really have to worry so much about the time because everything's pretty much cooked. So that's great, really great time saver. So let's go plate this all up and feast, feast. A mighty powerhouse of a dinner. My vegan chili, my beautiful sweet potato and parsnip oven baked chips, if you will, and a whole lot of goodness. I am so excited to dive into this. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you try this for yourselves. And truly, I can't even tell that that's the vegan ground meat it is not real meat. So I hope y'all do try this and get on the vegan train. Switch it up a bit. Happy day 41 of my year in food. I'll see you tomorrow.